guys, what is up? It's Mick Guy here, and today we're going to be creating Cookie Clicker and Scratch. This is the second part, so if you want to see the first part, that'll be in the description. But basically, we're trying to recreate Cookie Clicker in Scratch, and we're going to be adding a town and a house in this episode. But last time we added the basics, which were the grandma, the cookie, and the cookies variable and cookies per second. So let's get right in. The first thing you want to do is duplicate your grandma. So in your grandma, we're going to zoom in quite a bit and then uh, select the grandma art and simply hit delete because we're going to change it to house. So go into your square tool or rectangle tool, dra drag a, a little bit darker brown, make sure it's filled, and then just stretch it out so it looks uh, scale pretty nicely fit. So then get a blue, not too light, but a little bit darker actually. Whoops. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to create a, a little triangle on top of the house. So it seems that this is a little bit too long. So we're going to go from right to left and then don't hold shift on, don't hold shift on this part. But uh, simply make a triangle on top. Then go to your paint bucket so, uh, tool and then just fill it in. And uh, There we go. Uh, whoops. <laughs> I forgot. We have to change the uh, statistics because it's not the grandma, it's something different. So the cost is not going to be 50, but instead it's going to be 500. So all we have to do is head to the text tool, put a zero, make sure it's black, and then scale it so that it fits properly with the 50. We can add this to the end and then we get 500 here. So it's just about the same size as the other zero, and I think that'll work pretty smoothly. Now add another zero for the cookies per second because we're going to change it from 1 to 10. We're basically just multiplying all statistics statistics by 10 here. So I accidentally did that dash, but rescale it once again and put it right after the one. So there we go, it looks pretty sweet. Um, then all we wanna do is uh, make sure it looks and is put in the right place. Create a new variable, it's gonna be called houses. This is gonna be the main variable for houses. It's gonna keep track of how many houses you have in the game. So it's pretty easy. You're gonna change this to one less than the cost, which is 499. Then cookies, we're gonna say change cookies by negative 500 and uh, change, whoops, not cookies, change houses by one and change cookies per second by 10. And here we go, we have it right here. So you can see that it looks pretty good and we're gonna drag this, double click it. Again, double clicks, change the type of variable we have. So here's a slider, here's a regular, and here's just a display of the number itself with no tag to it. So put this right on the left of the house and then you can see it looks pretty complete. Okay, so now that we have the house done, I'm not gonna test it because I'm like pretty confident that it works and I don't want to because that just required too many cookies. So uh, right now we're gonna add a city. So duplicate the sprite once again. And then uh, basically the same process, you guys can do this if you wanna add your own things, but scroll left of it and then select the whole entire house um, and delete it. Then we're gonna add some gray rectangles to serve as a city kinda or town. And we're gonna change the statistics. So get a dark brown not a blue, a dark brown, and then make your first rectangle uh, on the left of the words. Okay, so then we're gonna add another one. This is gonna be a little bit more like a square, make it a little bit darker. They're gonna, and then we're gonna find a third uh, shade of gray, and we want this to be uh, the same one. We don't wanna use this. Yeah, it just look bad. So then uh, basically just choose the same color and make sure the shape is a little bit different. Then we're gonna add some uh, windows here but make sure that the stroke is not put too big because I messed it up here and that looks a little bit too fat so uh, I'm gonna try to add another one but this doesn't look good so then change the stroke all the way down and then add some in the buildings just to give it a more realistic look then we're gonna um, put it right behind there so <coughs> we're gonna um, add it just like that add some on the left so it looks even more realistic this will just add a uh, so that you can kind of recognize it as a town and not some random gray thingy majigger. Okay, so then um, add some other gray squares or rectangles, windows, and then we're going to add two big ones right here just so that it doesn't take too long. But you guys obviously should do a better job than this because this is a, not the greatest job. Um, 
so oops we're going to scroll over and then we're going to change the cost so we're going to completely change it we're not going to get 500 but instead it's going to be 2500 so we just multiply that by five so delete this um oops i don't know why i didn't delete press command z or control z if you're on windows delete once again and then we'll just delete that because apparently it doesn't like to delete go into your text and then put in whoops 2500 now scale this to the right size so that it seems pretty good and uh, position it pretty nicely as well so then um, you can see that the cost is now 2500 and that looks pretty nice so then um, all you're gonna wanna do is go into uh, we're gonna delete the cookies per second. We're actually just gonna make it 100, so we just need to add a zero. So we don't have to re uh, retype it, but we can just add a zero. So scale this down once again, and it looks just about right, and we'll uh, tap away or click away so that it registers as a new text. And we're gonna drag that once again. It's kind of the same process. Um, so go into scripts, make a new variable. It's gonna be called cities or sorry towns there we go and then um we're going to say if cookies is less than one minus the cost so that's going to be 200 2499 and then we're just going to change yeah there we go and then we're just going to change the uh cookies by negative 2500 and then change the town variable by one so if we select town, we're going to change that by 1, and then change cookies per second by 100. So this is the best thing that you can buy, but it also costs the most. Um, so we're going to start the cookies with maybe like something a lot more so we can kind of test it out. And uh, whoop, I forgot to place the variable, so we'll do that really quickly in a little bit. Um, there we go. Double click it once again, drag it next to the city, and then there you have it. Alrighty, so you can see that we can buy a bunch of these and our cookies per second goes up a lot and I think it looks pretty nice and then we can buy some grandmas as well if you want to and uh, overall it looks like a pretty nice game uh, obviously cookies are going up every single second um, and we can buy about 10 20 and 40 just to keep it nice numbers and the cookies per second is 4210 so the cl clicking still works but i don't like how the cookies increases every single second i want it to be every tenth of a second so go into your main cookie sprite whoops uh yeah your main cookie sprite but we're just, I'm just gonna see something here okay so yeah cookies are increasing but we want it to increase by less but increase more often if that makes any sense it probably doesn't so uh, go into your main cookie spray, and then we're going to change this by 0.1. And go into operators, and we're going to look for the division one. Where is it? Uh, there it is. Okay. So it's the one with the little slash, and then put the variable in the first one. Make that 10. So then every tenth of a second, it's going to change cookies by tenth of cookies per second. So um, that should work pretty well. Uh, we're gonna, I forgot we have to set towns to zeros and also set um, houses to zero. And um, yeah, so if we try that out once again, you can see that it works pretty well and we can buy as many cookies and the cookies are moving faster, but they're still moving at the same rate. But yeah, I really like it. So um, we've bought 30 of these towns, pretty fast clicking, I gotta admit. And then, um, I think that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Once again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.